Here locally, a new bill that would allow only animals from rescues and nonprofit groups to be sold at pet shops in our valley went before the Las Vegas Recommendation Committee for discussion. Now, the meetings are usually small and short, but this topic drew such a large crowd that the city staff had to move the meeting to a larger room to accommodate everyone. The bill aims to provide homes for animals that already live in the Vegas area and to keep puppy mill dogs out of local pet stores. Pet shop owners say this bill would hurt their business. If I can't sell puppies, which are 70% of my business, then I've got to shut the doors and release 26 employees. That's an unintended implication of this bill. On the other hand, animal, animal advocates claim that there are more than enough homeless animals in our area to supply pet stores. There are plenty of pets out there that are purebred that you can get from shelters and rescues. There's every kind of rescue out there. All right, so the question we have for you guys today and for all of us here at the round table, should pet stores be forced to only sell rescue animals? Why or why not? Randy. Well, I see both sides of this, and I don't want to see people put out of, of employment. I don't want to see stores closed. Business, but I have to say right? this. The way he pitches that, it almost sounds like, well, without selling purebred dogs from puppy mills, I can't run my business. But you know what's interesting is I was thinking about this. PetSmart, mm -hmm. I, not to name another company, but PetSmart doesn't sell dogs. And they par partner up with rescue organizations here right. in Las Vegas. And they, ha on the weekends, you can rescue dogs in front of PetSmart. They make it work. Yes. So somehow there's, there's a coalition that's working together to solve this problem that both sides are getting something out of this. So Absolutely. why can't we find that middle ground and find an answer that way as opposed to saying, well, you can't do this or this way? Can, I love can we? That. Yeah, because the all or nothing is what bothers me. And right. if this guy's business is viable and he's, it's based on purebred dogs, then that does that that impedes him that and means he can't run his business right. purebred be breeding places are mills the the right. word that you think it's That's like right. these the dirty little places where they right. treat the animals poorly well not everyone does that there are so many people that treat their dogs very well and i actually have a friend that has a purebred the most gorgeous purebred and a lot of people want puppies and that's why they do that right. but you can find them in the shelter but it just depends on who you're buying the puppy from as well and i don't want the government telling me what i can and right. cannot buy it's like gun right. yeah. control i mean we're responsible people there are hopefully are responsible places and yeah these pe people that are doing these mills that are terrible mm -hmm. on the animals should be shut down. We should focus on that. They said something Get about rid of them. USDA license or something. Mm -hmm. Well, can we do a little more crackdown on making sure that they are more humane? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Do that? Instead yeah. of saying you can't have any purebreds because across the, right. yeah. the people across the board. No, yeah. I agree with that. I think options. I think we live in America. It's a free country. We should be able to have those choices. Yes. Mm -hmm. We live as business owners and as people who want animals in our lives. Are there animals out there on the streets that do need the homes or, or you know, need to be rescued? Absolutely. We're not taking that. Our opinions here today don't mean we're taking that away from them. Not at all. It's just that if you have a business and you also want to, to, to get purebreds and, and sell them, that is also, I mean, there's people who show purebreds. I have a right. lot of friends in my life back home who whose family does that, and they've, they're have they awesome homeowners. Right. But we want to hear from all of you at home about this. <laughs> Should pet stores be forced to sell only rescue animals? Share your thoughts on our Valley View Live Facebook page, hop on Twitter or Instagram. Our handle is at Valley View Live.